Hello, I'm the old guy, and I'd like to welcome you to my Let's Play of Patrician 3. Before we get started, I'd like to talk about Patrician 3. And to understand Patrician 3, we have to start at Patrician 2. Patrician 2 was released in 2001 by developer Azuron in Germany, and it was successful and warranted an expansion. Later, that base game and expansion were bundled in and released internationally as Patrician 3. Azuron, the developer, are well known for their series of Port Royal games and Patrician. In 2009, they went out of business and those IPs were picked up by Calypso. Before we take a look at the beginning cutscene, an interesting note, at the end of the cutscene, there is a book that has Patrician 2 Quest for Power written on it. This is the correct cutscene for Patrician 3. They didn't change it when they bundled in the expansion. I hope you enjoy this Let's Play, and let's get on with the cutscene. Ah, the Elizabeth, my first love. She was a cog. It's been almost 30 years now since I first sailed with her over the seven seas. And it took several months to build her in that first little shipyard. Where was it again? Hmm. Oh yes, here. Here it is, my first great voyage. The wind filled our sails, and we set our course further towards the east than ever before. Because by then I discovered that the people there were suffering from a great famine, and we had our whole vessel brimful of grain and pickled meat. Then came the day when I signed a contract to construct the new Merchant's Guild building. It was a grand ceremony when they dedicated the new halls. And that same year I became a member of the Town Council. But there were also bad times. Pirates, buccaneers, the plagues of the seas, bah! They surrounded us like wolves, as if they had picked up our scent everywhere and were lying in wait for us. So we started to arm our ships and to form convoys as often as we could. Even so, many of us were forced to give up. And I remember the Great Plague with horror. The Black Death destroyed a lot of the things we had accomplished. Many people died or fled to the countryside. The job of building the economy, encouraging growth, developing our town was thrown back for years. But bear in mind, the downright endless years of hard work rewarded me a thousand times over. When I cast my eyes over my hometown, and I see how splendidly she has developed over all these years, then I can rightly say with pride, I made my contribution to it. And now to you, my young trader. Will you manage to expand your little company? Will you gain fame, wealth, and recognition? Here we are at the start screen of Patrician 3, one of the greatest trading games ever made in my opinion. The game takes place in the year 1300 during the Hanseatic League. The Hanseatic League is a commercial and defensive confederation of merchant guilds and market towns in northeastern and central Europe. Let's take a look at the options here. Tutorial missions, 
this will show you how to play. There is an extensive manual as well. It's pretty good. Campaign. Here's a bunch of pre-made campaigns that you could do. Some of them are tutorials. We're going to skip that. I will come back to single player here in a second. Multiplayer, I've never actually tried, so I have no idea. A load game, self-explanatory. Options, this is how I usually like it. The resolution here is pretty low. It's an old game. There is a patch to give you higher resolutions if you want. A color depth, 32, whatever. High, it's an old game, so don't expect amazing graphics. Although it does look nice. Uh, hopefully the sound and video volume here is good enough for recording. I'll adjust it if it is not. Uh, stereo, I don't care. I'm going to play it at slow down, at least to start. We can change this later. I'm going to do some talking in the beginning, so I don't want the game speeding by. Event videos on, tooltips on, uh, convoys show, and saves every three minutes. Looks pretty good to me. Let's look at the single player. Normantis is my usual handle. Gender male. Uh, world map and standard map. There's two. I'm not sure what the difference is between it, but we're going to take uh, standard map. We're in the hometown of Visby. You can pick any one of these blue ones. A lot of people like doing Lubeck. I'm going to pick Visby. Starting year is 1300. You can go all the way up to 1400 if you want. I believe the difference is that the, the towns get bigger. There's more people buying stuff. Uh, level difficulty, we're going to start at Merchant. This is normal for everything. If you go all the way down to Shopkeeper, number of ships is low if you go all the way up to patrician number of ships is low so we are going to be in the middle at Mar merchant everything normal now uh, victory conditions none and we're going to play the game again at slow speed we'll change this later so let's get into the game and here we are in our hometown of visby <clears throat> if you click over here you can get a general idea of the people living here. Rich people, wealthy people, poor people, how many there are, if the trend is going up or down, and how many beggars in town. Over here is how many buildings owned. It says we own one. That is our trading post right here. Since it is our hometown, we do get a trading post here. We'll be dealing with this uh, later on. If you click on it, it will highlight any other buildings that we have in town here. But we do not have any other than that at the moment. Uh, if you click on the money, coins, gives us a breakdown of our income. And our financials. We're doing pretty good. Uh, the date and time up here. And what's the uh, year and everything else here. In town here, you can click on these buildings and different things are available. You can start over here, uh, the bathhouse. Let's take a bath right now. There'll be people in here that you can make deals with and everything else. Uh, sometimes you can meet them in here. Uh, weaponsmith here. We can buy ships weapons. We can buy catapults and whatever, cannons, knives for your crew. Uh, over here, the guild. We can join a guild. There's auctions, you know, setting up convoys, good trading centers, you know, we can go into the Mediterranean here. So, yeah, there's that. Trading contracts. Oops, I keep clipping out of there. And, you know, it's pretty cool. I like these uh, little windows. They really add some flavor to the game. A money lender. You can take out loans if you get a fine or police or whatever. You can pay off your loans and debts that you have here. Sell shares, buy shares of the town. Pretty cool. Uh, here is the town hall. Notices. I won't be reading every single one of these if you want. You can just pause it. They're looking for a, a delivery of this stuff here. We can look back on it later. Uh, outriggers, they want people to guard the harbor, 
your ship has to be of this uh, strength. We'll get into that a little bit more when we start actually getting some warships. That's a little bit of ways from now. Uh, town info. This is if you become a candidate for mayor. Let's say you, you can have elections and everything else. Hanseatic orders again. You know, once you get high enough, it'll become more and more important. Town cellar. This is like a... I'm not really sure, but it always has like a little recipe down here. Pastry roll stuffed with fresh crab and filling... And a filling consisting of eggs, cheese, and gingerbread. I don't know about the gingerbread. Maybe that was popular back then. If you go into here, Arsenal, we have to be the Lord Mayor to access that. Trading post. We'll come, we'll come back to this one. This is an important building for us. Let's go over here. This is our competition. You can see here he is, his name. He owns uh, just, that's his trading post, I guess. The market hall here, stock of goods, this is what the town has. What they'll buy from and what they'll sell to here, and the stock. Production, here's what the pr town produces every day. And this is again the stock and the consumption, how much the citizens are using and the businesses are using of the product so you can gauge, you know, what to buy and sell. Uh, the tavern here, we'll be looking for a captain, is one of the main things that the early this episode is going to be about. The captain will be in here. Right now there is no captain here. You can buy sailors for your ship, which we do need. So we'll buy some right now. Hire some sailors. So if we click on our ship here, we can see we have 15 sailors. We can have a maximum of 20. Let's go back into the bar. Uh, there's weapon dealers here. There's a pirate and a side room. I'm not going to go into any of these rooms because sometimes if you be seen talking to some people here, they'll give you a fine. And I just don't have the money to deal with uh, such stuff. So I'm just going to play it safe for now. Uh, here is the shipyard. You can build ships, repair ships. Of course, our ship's not uh, damaged, so this is not be able to highlight it. Uh, build contracts. Here is the stuff that we can build. We'll be buying some gogs here, cogs. And here's the uh, goods that it needs. So if you have these goods inside your warehouse, this uh, this will get cheaper. So it's a good idea to stock this kind of stuff up inside your warehouse. List of contracts. This is how many ships you have building at any time. List of repairs of ships that are being repaired. Improved ships if you want to upgrade ships to different levels. They can get bigger and stronger. And of course, again, the uh, supplies it needs to accomplish that. Changing the ship's name. Let's change the name here. I'm going to change it to the Normandy. Because, hey, change name. And now the church over here. We can pray. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it improves some of the negotiations you have if you're, let's say, if you've prayed a lot or if you're clean at the time, you know what I mean? So going in there, I always go in there quite a bit, as much as I can remember doing it. Uh, here you can feed the poor. It can give you reputation in town. Donate to the church will give you a reputation in town as well. And the extension is, uh, you know, the church will get bigger. As the town grows, you'll want to make sure the church grows with it. Excuse me. In the center here, you can click on the statue. And it gives you the population. You know, the current mayor of the town. The, what the town produces and what the town is low on. So you can gauge on, you know, where to pick stuff up for cheap. If, uh, you know, for here, cloth is pretty cheap. And now for the a large chunk of the game, if you click on these towers here, opens up the trading window. Here you can see it's town to ship, uh, ship to your office, town to your office, and buying weapons. And cloth here is pretty cheap. They have 46 of them in stock. That's the price. 
that's the sell price in here if we buy a few of these this is the price of the average of what we paid for it and how much our ship is holding at the moment so let's stock up a little bit on this here until this number reaches you know 220 let's take that much for now we have we don't want to really go low don't hold me to it because I always overspend it's just the way I am <laughs> and we'll be going through this this will be a large chunk of what we're going to be doing in the game in your uh, trading trading office here totals gives you a breakdown of what the trading part uh the rental is the costs you know how much it's trading for we can employ an administrator we're going to be doing that pretty soon uh, not just not right now though we're gonna wait for a little bit we're gonna earn some money and just doing some manual trading first oh uh stock of goods you know how many goods we have we are trading office is empty right now so of course we don't have any but we can see what we have once we get going this will be filling up uh stock of weapons if we have any crossbows or ballistas or anything else like that that our ships can can use will be listed here uh the warehouse there's some stats about you know how many goods we have here and how much room we have left a uh, trading office this will this will become populated once we hire an, uh, an office administrator personal here's some information about our character we are a shopkeeper your reputation in town has increased you have more wealth and you need more wealth to acquire a better reputation in visby to get to the next level so that's what we're going to do and we earn reputation by trading with the town and doing that kind of stuff and move i think we can move our headquarters to a different spot here if we wanted to let me just see So yeah, we can move if we were in a different town than Visby, then we can move to that town instead. But I think we'll stay in Visby for now. Uh, as far as this menu here is concerned, ship overview. We have the Normandy here. Fast forward news. So the news you can get uh, personal letters here. Uh, this is configuration the letter file. So what rings the bell and notifications deleting uh, construction menu we can build the warehouses housing you know poor housing middle class rich uh, we can do roads wells mints hospitals all that for the town we can build a bee farm grain farm sheep farm hemp farm you know and then use those items to make pottery and brickwork weaving right and then after that we can unlock and start building castle walls and stuff like this over here uh leave town if we go to leave town we get the overview map of the hanseatic lead in the towns if we click on any of these it'll tell us what uh they're producing and what they want also this little icon here is what they need but we can't actually enter the town until our ship goes in there we can and later in the game we can build buildings in these towns once we get the high enough reputation and then we can click on them and do business without the ships being there where was i we left town options menu right here uh this is for your ship you have your ship highlighted here there's the normandy anchored in visby uh, i think this is the speed it can go uh the health how many uh, crew it has the guns we don't have any guns and this is a representation about how full our holds are and we have cloth and this red part here is the what the cloth is taking up and the yellow at the bottom there is our crew uh, here is a breakdown of the crew if the crew gets unhappy there'll be an angry face here and this is how much they want later when we get a captain he'll be down here weapons on the ship we don't have any weapons so we can we'll have to uh we'll come back to it when we do this is to uh, create convoys and to break up convoys uh these ships are represented as a convoy there can be more than one ship in this icon I, it's kind of strange to understand but if you've played port royal or anything like that it's the same concept 
So these are convoys and there can be a number of ships inside each convoy and you can create these convoys and you can't really leave town unless you are in a convoy. It'll become, it will make more sense once we start playing. So we got a little bit of cloth here. Is there anything else? See, we want some iron goods. And if we go into the leave town here, these guys in Stockholm want cloth and they make iron goods. So let's do a quick trade between these two. We'll click the speed up time here to get there real fast. So here we are in the thing. We're in Stockholm now. We're gonna click that. And we bought it at 220. They're selling at, at 289 here. So we're gonna sell a little bit. This is not the greatest price in the world by any means. So I'm just gonna sell a little bit. But this right here is a good price. They have 67. They're loaded up here. Let's buy a bunch of this. We don't want to get too low on the cash up here. So we'll stop around there. Go into the town here. Let's have a bath. Church. We'll pray for good weather. To the next stop and if you click on the statue in the middle it tells you what these guys are doing and they have the same buildings going to the bar look for a captain no captain although we need five more sailors so let's get five more sailors if we go here now we have 20 out of 20 so we're looking good our ship is ready to go Click to leave town. These guys want some cloth. Let's go there, click here. We still have 18 cloth in our hold. We'll fast forward. Now they want fish. There is a convoy there. So if there's pirates and you wanna be protected, you travel with the convoy. And then there is, uh, your ship is here is anchored. When it's raining and stuff, there is sometimes a storm out on the main map. So there it is right there. It's close to the town. It's a lot of depth in the game, you know? It's pretty cool. I enjoy it quite a bit. Let's check out what these guys want. So there is some good profits to be made here. Again, this is how our average of what we paid and we're buying it for so I don't want to get too much lower than that. But this price here, 72 iron goods here. So let's buy a few more iron goods. Make sure that we don't go too far in the hole here. Let's go to that because we do have to pay taxes. Now let's uh, check to see if there is a captain in this town. There is no captain in town. Weapons dealer, we can buy weapons for our crew. Uh, we're not going to arm them quite yet. We're going to make some money first. Take a bath. And there is no church in this town that I can see. All right, let's go to the next area. Is there anybody else that wants iron goods and cloth nearby nobody really so let's cruise up here we'll go down here and we'll we'll take a look at all of these towns hopefully we can find a captain that is one of our main missions for today and there's a storm if we travel through this storm it'll damage our ship so let's speed up so there's the storm there it's moved when our fast forward Oh, we got some good profits here. And we've got some good profits here. Let's bring this down. I like to keep about 100 coins away from these ones, you know? So that's pretty close. Now, are the what do these guys produce? Fish, pig iron. Pig iron is pretty good. Let's see if we can buy some pig iron. Eight. Let's buy. I don't want to go. I don't want to go over nine hundred dollars on those. Once you play the game for a while, you you can you'll see understand the prices better. Let's go to the bar here and see if there's a captain. No captain. 
again we're not going to talk to any of these people you could but if you're seen you could have a problem with the law and pay a fine now let's unplug this to highlight get the village back in if you click on some of these uh people they tell you what the town is looking for and what your fame level you know they the, the church could use an expansion Ah, oh, there is a church. Let's pray here. Let's leave town. We're here again. Beer. They want cloth here. Highlight the ship. And we will speed up. Let's do the deal first and then we'll look at the mail. Uh, oh, we don't even have any of that. What am I doing? can sell iron goods I thought we had some more uh, cloth in the hold but I wasn't paying attention you can see that our ship is getting a little bit damaged just by wear and tear again we're filling up this pig iron <clears throat> excuse me you know these barrels you can hold more of these barrels than these uh, crates here so <clears throat> these might be more pricey but uh, you can hold more of these barrels I'm gonna cut here and take a quick little drink. I'll be right back. I'm back now. Check out the bar. There is a captain here. This is great news. So it looks like this guy's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Here's his sailing, and I believe this is his trading. He demands 14 gold uh, a day. And here's what our ship is holding right now, health and wise. So let's hire this captain. Captains are kind of difficult to find. I like this guy's look too. Well, they all look the same, but I just like this graphic. So it says the captain is on the Normandy now. If we click on the Normandy, go here, you can see that the captain and we can dismiss him. So now our ship is completely decked out and we can uh, do an auto trading here and set up, you know, set up a trading route uh, automatic trading route we will do this in the future but right now we're just going to stick with uh, manual trading that's great news so let's head back and pick up some more of the cloth that we're producing in our hometown to sell around here again we'll stop at these towns on the way back Let's pick up some more of these. This pig iron will come in handy when we go to Stockholm, which we're going to Stockholm, I believe, pretty quick. Because I don't know, they do make it, but they make a lot of iron goods, so maybe they're going to need some. Let's travel here. Again, there is a storm here. And it's close to the town, so it's raining and the town affects from the storm. There's winter and then again, uh, you know, the crops will stop growing and that supply of grain will go down. And the same will, the, you know, the, the it might ice over so you, the ships can't get in the harbor. It's quite deep. Let's uh, buy and sell here. So let's sell a few here. We can make a couple hundred each here which is pretty good cloth iron goods let's do a couple iron goods I don't want to go much higher than the 320 we don't need a captain let's take off again let's go to Stockholm Oh, I haven't been reading these. This, this is taxes, you know, your tax office, trading office, and workshops. This is how much uh, rent or whatever I'm paying taxes for my businesses and stuff. And then my sailors. Once I get more employees and stuff like that, this will grow. And I start holding items in my shop. It all costs taxes. So this is going to be going up per, uh, quite a lot. And it happens all the time. So we got to keep in mind... 
and to keep enough money to be able to pay the taxes on a regular basis or we start getting problems. Let's see if we can make some deals here. This is going all right. Let's pick up a bunch of this. Three twenty. Yeah, that's okay. So we can bring up some beer here. Let's have a bath. We haven't prayed for a little bit. Stockholm's a nice place. Let's do it there. Let's go to the hometown. There is a convoy sitting in there. We'll sell a few of these there. We won't do the pig iron. It's still a little bit too much. The cloth is what we're interested in here. Let's buy enough. Let's make sure we're saving enough money again for the taxes and a little bit of breathing room there. Our holes are getting full, which is great news. Let's go down to Riga this time. Here we go. We got some good deals here. Again, I want to keep about $100 in between. You can click here to, to speed it up. I like doing the one. I don't know why. I just like clicking maybe. That's not bad. Let's throw a few their way. Nothing else. See, the wool here is really nice. This is what we're going to get into first. When we make enough money to buy a sheep farm, we're going to buy a sheep farm right away. Uh, I don't think I showed you this. You can click on the gates and you can talk to the prince. But we're way too low for the prince to care about us at the moment. He will learn our name sooner or later. Let's leave. Gdansk here. We'll fast forward again. These guys want cloth. Let's make some money here. Beer is cheap here. Let's buy some beer. Get this to about 40 maximum price for... There we go. Our holds are getting full with, with goods. That's a good thing. It's a nice church. We have four cloth. They want beer over here. Let's let's see if we can snag that. Oh, it's gone. Let's see if it's gone, gone. Yeah, it's someone filled the order. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? These guys don't want anything we're peddling at the moment. So let's go to Lubeck here. Lubeck is the capital of this area. So it's usually pretty good. Let's have a bath to get all clean before we do business here. There we go. Let's bring this to about 50, keeping about 10 apart. That's usually my rule. Cloth here is pretty cheap. Look at this one, though. That's really nice. So the pig iron paid off quite a bit. We've got 20. We've doubled our money already. Let's keep going and doing that and just building up our wealth. Uh, these guys sell iron goods. Iron goods here is pretty cheap, although I think Stockholm had a better deal. Let's go to about 340. Is there anything else that's whoppingly cheap down here? See, again, even with six, this wool, we have our eye on the wool. Eye on the wool. Let's go up to Alberg. They want beer. We have beer. Let's go down to 50 again or so the lot. This is not bad. Let's buy a few of those iron goods we can sell. 
There we go. You know, wool again. Calling me. Calling me. Anything in the bar happening here? Better pray some here. All right, let's go to Almo. We got news again. Taxes once again hasn't really changed much since we still have. We don't. You know, we haven't bought any uh, buildings or anything like that. Do I have anything else? Oh, there is a, of course, the new captain telling us that he's taking his duties. We don't need that anymore. Let's go check it out. I need to highlight my ship first. Here we go. Sell that. I can buy a few of these. Put about 300, that looks good. There's nothing else that's really jumping out at me at the moment there. All right, let's head home. I think that was a pretty successful mission. We got quite a bit of money. We have some expensive items in there. Let's take a look. Buy a few more of these. I don't want to get too broke. But we I'm pretty sure we can sell all of this. See if we can some bring some skins back to our town. If we fulfill and you know stock up this whole thing, more people move here, more businesses open, the whole place grows, more money you're making, you know, it's a big circle, right? Again, you can click on there. There's not enough wells. That's what the people want here. The town is satisfied. The church could do do with an extension. All right, let's. Stockholm wants wool, and I don't have my ship selected. I'm a common problem with that. I always unselect it for some reason. Let's take a look. Alright, let's buy a, f buy a few more here. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to pray for everyone to have good luck. Take a bath since we don't stink. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.